Here are the nominees. Attack the Block, Black Pond, Coriolanus, Submarine, and Tyrannosaur. And the BAFTA goes to Paddy Concert Island, German Spring Show for Tyrannosaur. I love you too. I feel like Rocky Ball Ball, you know. Thank you very much for this. I want to thank a brilliant crew. It's <laughs> quite a good impression. I surprised myself then. <laughs> um, thank you very much to Eric Wilson, the brilliant DOP of the film, Peter DeChala, who edited the film, Nadia Stacey, Danny Gulliver, Dan Winch, Simon Rogers, everybody who worked crew wise, Samuel Bottomley on the cast, the little angel, Paul Popperwell, Sean Brecken, uh, Sally Carmen, Ned Dennehy, and the principal cast, um, Eddie Marzan, um, my hero, Peter Mullen. One of them, the other one sat there, Mr. Gary Oldman somewhere. He was there at the beginning of this journey. And um, also the uh, irrepressible and brilliant Olivia Coleman. Thank you very much for this. <laughs> Cheers. Great. Um, I, I don't feel this BAFTA belongs to me. I feel like it belongs to everybody who helped make Tyrannosaur. Um, I probably will keep it, but um, <laughs> thank you all very much. In particular, I'd like to thank our financiers, Film 4, BFI, uh, Studio Canal, Screen Yorkshire and EM Media. I'd like to uh, thank our production partners, the amazing uh, Warp Films, Barry Ryan, Niall, all the gang. But in particular, all right, mate, I'd like to thank you. We've been, the, we've been the longest speech. I know, we're great. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank Paddy for being an amazing writer and director, but also for being fantastic to work with, and I'm proud to count him as a friend. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, most outstanding British debut. How do you feel having just picked that award up? I'm quite shocked because uh, you, you never know how these things go, and er anyone who says that it doesn't matter is a liar, because we're <laughs> all here. You know, everybody wants to win secretly. But, you know, there was such good films in there, in particular, you know, I think Richard uh, yeah, is a yeah. great filmmaker. Richard Iowadi. Richard Iowadi, yeah. yeah. I know. It yeah. is an incredible film, and the but worst somebody thing, had to win, though. Somebody had yeah. to win, and you put against your friends, and it's yeah. hard in that respect. But it's, it, it's all good fun. And yeah. I'm, I'm quite shocked, actually. I'm it's, uh, it's wonderful. You thank Gary Oldman in your speech there for being with you at the beginning. What were you referring to in particular? Well, when I wrote the short film that, that became Dog All Together, you know, that led us to this point now, it was, uh, I, I wrote it when I was working with Gary on a film in Spain. I was having a great time and I wrote it in an afternoon and I, he was the first person that ever read the short film. And so when I wrote the feature film, he was the first person that ever read the feature film and I've always kept him kind of there because he's a great, obviously he's a great sounding he's, board. He's the de, you're De Niro, isn't he? Like Martin uh, Scorsese always turns to De Niro. Yeah. He's yeah. De Niro, you'll always have to show him. Yeah. Um, but what sort of were the, you know, toughest bits for you during this film, Dermot? I mean, did Paddy, did he stay in budget? No, Paddy was amazing actually. He was really good to work with and we had quite a small budget. But the thing that was great about that was that it meant that everyone who came, came for the strength of the project and for the script, which was amazing. And we just all got behind it and believed in it. And it was, despite being difficult at times, the subject matter, actually, the experience was amazing was such a warm a family joy. feeling and we're so proud to have won this it's great and for a, us. an incredible cast the whole, the whole cast Stella. amazing and um, what was the most surprising thing for you directing a feature did you find i, I, I just thought i couldn't i couldn't believe the goodwill of everyone really and that's the truth I, I, anything about visually or structurally anything like that never bothered me i, I knew the film i wanted to make but i couldn't believe like the work that the commitment from Dermot you know and the crew were just incredible and I mean that with all sincerity they just seemed to just get on board with it and deliver everything um, they just did the best possible work they could have ever done and I'm so proud of them they obviously had faith they had faith yeah. in their leader I think yeah. that's what it was like so where now um, with directing have you got another feature yeah well, well we're developing a couple of films myself and Dermot so um, that there's definite, we'll definitely be making films again and I'm, I, as soon as I can get behind the camera again I will but it might be later this year, early next year but we're definitely just going to keep making films with me directing. And talking about sort of outstanding British contribution, who has been the sort of biggest influence on you from British cinema would you say? 
I love I, I love so many. If you go back to the past, it can be actors or filmmakers, you know. But I think when I sat in a cinema and I was a student before I'd ever been in front of a camera or even behind one as a as a filmmaker, it was when I sat in uh, Duke of York in Brighton and watched uh, watched Nil by Mouth and. Gary just made me realise with that film that you could just tell stories about where you were from that come from the, the heart, you know, and it really kind of shook me up when I saw that movie. And an amazing cinema. It's a great well. cinema. Duke of York, still <laughs> going. Well, hang on to it. Congratulations. Thank Have a wonderful much. night. Thank you, Zoe. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs>